Hey everybody and welcome back to our 2016 SEMA coverage. We're posted up in the South Hall with Raceline and we found the Reina Brothers Chevy pickup. This thing's got a lot of body mods. It's got a lot of cool stuff. Let's get Daniel in here and talk about this thing. Daniel, what's up? What's up, brother? How's it going, man? Good, man. Good. Thanks for spending some time. So, you and your brother have created this whole scene in Texas with these super clean trucks. Now, I know you've done some big ones and some little ones, but what are you and your brother Milo up to? Um, right now, we got a bunch of stuff going on in the shop, man, and it's kind of hard for us because, you know, we all have full-time jobs, and we kind of do this as a part-time gig, kind of like as a hobby, so... Well, as a sideline thing, you're making quite a big noise. I know you guys got to have your both, your, both your own parts. You do more of the design and illustration stuff? Yeah, I do. I, I'm kind of like the designer for, for us. Um, I do all the hand-drawn renderings and basically pick all the colors, pick all the wheels, and uh, I do all the uh, billet wheels, the designs for Raceline also. I've done the like the last 22 designs for, for Raceline wheels. Oh, wow, that's incredible. Well, your style is very clean and simple, very luxurious, if you will. So, so what's that like to take subtle cues, maybe? Where, what's your inspiration come from to get the designs you come up with? Uh, I, we like to always just keep it real simple, man. You know, we, we, we see something and we kind of like just adding stuff like we did with the 2016 truck. We kind of added just a little wing just to give it a little flair, a little character to it. So we always just try to do like little things. We don't like over exaggerating on things or, you know, doing super huge wheels. You know, uh, we just like to do stuff that's going to look right, look proportionate. So you guys don't spend your days beating each other up and fighting like brothers do. You guys actually get along and get stuff done. Yeah, we actually do, man. My brother's kind of like, you know, he's kind of like always says, hey, you just draw it and I'll pay for it. That's what he always tells me. So it's kind of cool because, you know, he, he helps out on that aspect. But, yeah, he kind of knows that I kind of know what I'm doing. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, he's liked all the builds that we've done, you know, as far as like color choices and wheels and stuff. So, I mean, you just got to take all that stuff in consideration when build, building a car. You know, I think everything has to flow really, really nice and just, just keep it simple. Now, this truck has a lot of subtle changes. Can you tell us a little bit about the truck, interior, color, all that stuff? I noticed you have uh, the new Acura Endo VT in there so just kind of touch on some of the stuff uh, we of course we knew we wanted to bag the truck we body the truck um, then the next thing I did is I designed the wheels around the, the truck so on the front end of the truck it, you know the new 2016s kind of have that little flare on the on the middle bar so I kind of incorporated that into the wheels so after that um, started picking the colors um, I knew I wanted to do you know I like earth tones you know just real subtle colors so went with the Kia color actually it's silver graphite metallic um, and then after that, we did some sheet metal work. Uh, Levi Green from Hammer Fab did uh, the wing in the back. Um, follow, you know, the body line follows into the wing and stuff like that. So we sh shaved a third brake light, did big brakes, uh, and then we did we used Josh from Relicate Leather mm -hmm. for all the leather. The subtle changes, like I said, Levi knocked that little thing in the back out of the park. So you killed it once again. Thanks, Daniel, for spending time with us. All right, brother. Thank you. All right, cool. Uh, if you're in the South Hall, make sure you come by Raceline, check out their truck, check out some wheels, and make sure you stay tuned for more coverage 2016. We're in Central Hall here at the Royal Purple Booth, and we got a chance to meet up with a good personal friend of mine that's had quite the journey getting his truck here. It's a 1972 Cheyenne C10. Let's get Kevin Sticklin here to tell us a little bit about it. What's up, buddy? Not much, man. So, this is actually a pretty cool story. Now, you're by day a VP of a big corporation. What's it like being here amidst a bunch of car guys and having one of the coolest trucks here? Yeah, no, it's, I mean, it's really a big change of pace in terms of what I normally do in my day. So this has really been my stress relief. You know, uh, I work uh, all day in the office, wear a suit, get out of that, put on some jeans and a t-shirt and get out in the garage and, you know, get a wrench in my hand and have some fun. Awesome. Talk to us a little bit about what's involved, who helped you out to get here, and, and you know what the experience is like now that you're here. Yeah, so probably first and foremost, I got this truck to paint, and then you called me and said, hey, guess what, we're going to SEMA, and the paint was really not where it needed to be. So uh, Lang Shop up in Canada, where, where we're both from, uh, they really dropped pretty much everything and took this truck on, and it, it needed a lot of help. So I gotta, I gotta say that was probably the biggest help of all. Uh, my interior guys, uh, Gary at Auto Marine, and Calgary uh, they really went to town on the interior here I know you, you've seen that but really really uh, uh, probably those two in, in particular really helped out and then and then just a, a group of friends that really you know over the, the last month coming together and in all the long nights working till three in the morning four in the morning all night you know knocking it out so it's been yeah. pretty good so I noticed you got the new Acura Endo VT in this thing how do you like it 
Yeah, I mean, it's it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. And what I like probably the most about it is just how simple it is. It takes what all the different things you used to have to put together to make one of these things go, and it just does it in the most simplistic, clean, beautiful way. And then on top of that, we run E-Level, and it's, I mean, it's for me, I'm not that, not that uh, aware of what I'm doing when I'm driving, and so it just makes it so easy to be where I want to be and, and know that I'm not going to scrub out or, or wreck something. So. Yeah. Well, it looks great in there, too. I notice you've got, you know, Porterbilt suspension, obviously. Yeah. You've got some of the Delmo CST version 2 wheels on it. The paint, Lang's killed the paint, uh, LS7, correct? And uh, what else can, uh, details, what can you tell us about that? Yeah, I mean, you pretty much hit them, so thanks for that. Uh, um, you know, it's the, the whole deal with the truck was to make it be as factory looking as possible, but with a little bit of a twist. So pretty much everything's a lot of factory. Then the interior, the wheels, and the engine just done up in that slight twist on factory is really, really the, the main details. So you run Digital C10 on Instagram. So you have the power to kind of see this truck before it was even built. So do you think you kind of nailed the look? Yeah, I mean, it's, it was pretty easy black with chrome. Uh, that was probably most simple thing but yeah digital c10 i do a, a number of uh c10 rendering just as a little bit of a hobby on the side and and this was one that uh, you know i did really early on and i just stuck with that theme and and uh i think it came out pretty much like the rendering so yeah it, it does it's weird to look at it on the computer I've, i mean i've looked at the thing for months now and to see it here it basically looks exactly the same so i know people are freaking out about it all week the royal purple people are super happy to have it I'm glad you finally made it to SEMA, and uh, I'm stoked for you, buddy. Yeah, thanks, thanks, and I got to thank you for getting me here, all the support, and, you know, just uh, you've been my tech support line all along, so I, when I needed it the most, so thanks a lot. Well, I'll make you pay for it. Yeah, so, no. Thanks, Kev. All right. all right, well, thanks, and stay tuned for more coverage of SEMA 2016. Hey everybody, welcome back to our coverage of SEMA 2016. We're inside Central Hall, cruising around to see what's cool. We found this truck here in the Holly booth by Classic Car Studio. We found the builder and uh, we're he's going to fill us in a little bit about the truck and how we got here. What's going on, man? All right, I am Scott France from Classic Car Studio. I built this 66 C10 truck here. It was supposed to be, you know, shop truck, jaw dropper, joke about twin turbos, air ride, 22 inch steel wheels. You know, then next thing you know, it all comes together. Sitting in the background of the shop, 20, uh, 2016 SEMA's on its way up, and we were building a Gone Mad 55 Nomad, green and uh, truffle butter bronze. Uh, gonna be in K&N's booth. Holly seen our truck in the background, says, what does it take to get that truck to SEMA to put in our booth? So then it was Mad Thrash 2, SEMA Crunch number two to get the truck here for them and glad we did it's done now and here we are letting the crowd see it it's blowing up everywhere and, it, and it's good success for us and holly i believe so tell me a little bit about classic car studio you're in st louis correct st louis missouri we're classic car studio uh, you can look us up classiccarstudio.com we do everything in-house uh, metal shaping metal forming fabrication air ride with the acura air of course um, in-house body shop paint, uh, interior, mechanical. If you brought your car to us out of the junkyard and wanted a full-blown custom, we do it from the ground up in-house. It never has to leave our shop. Dude, that's amazing. Now, unless you've been under a rock, you've seen, you've seen this truck. It's all over Instagram, it's all over social media. It is gnarly, one of the gnarliest C10s on there right now. Tell us a little about the twin turbos, the suspension interior, stuff like that. It's actually an older LS style motor. It's a 5.7 liter with twin turbos. They're Nelson Racing mirror image turbos. Uh, tried to put that on there. I'm, I'm, I'm all about balance. And when I see one tube up top and one tube on the bottom, I can't handle that. So I talked to bosses into, let's spend the money for mirror image turbos. And I think it turned it out good because I do the metal work. And I'm trying to metal work around miss flip-flop turbos and it just don't pan out so with mirror image turbos we can get that dialed in then we put porter built suspension on it and we got the accurate e-level system in there make it ride great uh 22 inch steel transport wheels by gm and we wanted to go with the hot rod look in the rear to match twin turbo in the front so we widened the wheels down there 22 by 12s in the back um, all handmade sheet metal work handmade dash panels handmade Inside the bed is crazy. 
And yes, the brass knuckles in the floor were done with the bead roller. That's the main question I get here. How's the brass knuckles in the sheet metal? It was done with a bead roller, just like all the squares. Uh, the seat was done with our in-house upholstery, all the interior, in fact, um, stereo system in there, tire burner, jaw dropper. That's what we were after. You killed it, man. Well, I'm going to have lots of questions for you after. I'm going to pick your brain about it. But man, thanks so much for spending time. We really appreciate it. All right. Love the truck. Well, that's a wrap for our coverage of 2016. We want to thank you guys for joining us as we went and checked out some really cool cars and trucks and met some of the nicest people in the industry. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to check out more highlights of the show and new products coming in the future. Thank you, and we will see you next year.